Broke, broke, broke. I hate this word, but sadly, it's the word that best describes my situation. I've tried so many things to help make my life better, but unfortunately, nothing seems to work. Anyone who looks at me will think I'm doing well, but that's not the case. For a guy who likes food, feeding became a problem for me. If feeding was the only problem I was having, I'd have felt so much better, but it wasn't. My rent was due, and I knew there was no way I could pay the rent. I tried to talk to the landlord to give me a few weeks to sort things out, but his mind was made up already. He intended to kick me out of the building, so he did. Luckily for me, a relative lived not too far away, so I stayed with my relative. I wasn't going to be there for a long time. I was so uncomfortable being there. How could an old man like me be squatting with a relative who's younger than I am? My pride was hurt. Yes, broke guys have pride too. Now you know they do. There's no way I could stay here for a long time. I'm not gonna lie. I got desperate. I was willing to do anything to get back on my feet. I applied for jobs. But months passed and I wasn't able to get anything reasonable. With every passing day, I felt miserable. If you've been in this situation, you'd understand what I'm talking about. I'm one of those people who think social media is overrated. So, the only social media account I had was WhatsApp. And of course I was on WhatsApp because it was cheaper and everyone I wanted to communicate with was on it already. Out of boredom. I decided to open an Instagram account. I found the content on it to be both funny and interesting. I kept on exploring. Then I came across something unexpected. I saw an old friend's picture. His name is Fisayo. I was shocked at what I saw. This guy was bawling. Just from looking at his pictures, I could tell Fisayo had traveled around the world. He was living large, eating the kind of food I've only seen on TV. You guys know I'm a foodie. I wondered how he was able to make so much money in such a short time. As in this guy put the B in bowling. But I doubted he would respond because there's no way a social media celebrity like him would want anything to do with me. So since I had nothing to lose, I decided to contact him. And in less than a minute, he replied. I was surprised. We chatted for a while. He was eager to meet me. So he asked for my number. After speaking with him, I was so excited. I kept on thinking about how much help he could offer me. Deep down in my heart, I knew there was no way I would meet with him that my situation wouldn't get better. Fisaya and I fixed the meeting for Saturday. I tried to freshen up as much as I could. Cause the place we were supposed to meet was one of the most exclusive bars in the city. So came the D-Day. I was so excited to meet him. Fisayo, my brother from another mother and another father. It's been ages old. Are you rubbing baby oil or something? You haven't aged a day. John, you haven't changed. You are still the best whiner I know. You throw compliments around like it's nothing. It's good to see you, bro. We talked about a lot of stuff. Eventually, we talked about business. Fisayo. I saw your Instagram page. The only thing I saw on it was bowling, living large and more bowling. How do you do it? How do you sustain this kind of lifestyle when some people are finding it difficult to make any money? What exactly do you do for a living? Cause as it is now, I don't mind joining you in whatever it is that you do. John, John, I know you've always had a flair for the finest things in life. That is one thing I really like about you. The kind of job I do brings me a lot of money, but it's not for the faint of heart. It takes a lot of patience, planning and strategy to actually make any money in my line of business. You're making it sound like it's impossible to be in this line of business. What exactly do you do? John, don't worry about what I do for now. We're here to catch up and have a good time. We will have other opportunities to talk about business. So we talked about other things and had a couple of drinks. I had a really good time. Before we left the bar, he said to me, John, I like you. I'm very protective of what I do for a living. But because of the respect I have for you, 
I'm going to open up to you and tell you my kind of work. So come to my house tomorrow. I was so glad to hear this because it meant I was going to be swimming in money pretty soon. On getting home, I couldn't wait for the next day to come. So the next day, I went to his house. Parked outside his house were exotic cars. Of the cars in the compound, the one that caught my attention was the Porsche. I've always loved Porsche. When we got into his living room, he started talking about the luxury lifestyle he lives. This just made me want to be like him. John, I love to travel. Honestly, I can't count the number of vacations I've had. I've always done my things alone because I find it really hard to trust people. But for some reason, I trust you and I'm willing to share my secrets with you. Hmm. Your profession is beginning to sound scary. Fisayo, tell me, you're just beating around the bush. What exactly is it that you do? I'm an internet fraud star. I make money off people online, tell a few lies here and there, impersonate few people to get paid. I rake in thousands of dollars weekly. Fisayo, isn't that dangerous? What if you get caught? It's impossible. I can't get caught. I've been doing this for years. No one knows how I make my money. You're the only one who knows. What if you haven't been arrested because they don't have enough evidence against you? To be honest, I didn't like the idea of taking money from people under false pretense. But the hunger I had for this kind of luxury lifestyle Fisayo lived pushed me into learning the art of internet fraud. He asked me to stay with him for a few days so I could learn by watching him do it. He showed me everything from start to finish. After learning, it was time for me to practice the knowledge he had passed on to me. But for some reason, I just couldn't go through with it. As much as I wanted to be rich, I couldn't bring myself to steal people's money. There's no way I would have had peace of mind doing that. That's why you will always be broke. You don't have the mind to go to the action to get what you want. I made the mistake bringing you into my life. Fisayo, I tried to do it, but my heart wouldn't let me. Just think about the trauma you've caused people who are falling for this kind of fraud. And how much more those who sent you their entire life savings. I think you should stop before it's too late. You may get caught by the authorities. I don't need your advice. Tell me. What has being good done for you? You can't feed or pay your rent. Is that the kind of life you expect me to live? God forbid, not after the horrible things I've been through. You are a total waste of my time. Leave my house. Hmm. It's alright. I'll leave. But please, think about what I've said to you. Stop before it's too late. I left Isaiah's place and headed back home. In no time, I was back on the street searching for a job. Months passed by, but I wasn't fortunate enough to find a job. I just kept pushing even when it seemed like all hope was lost. I've always believed that consistency and persistence have a major role to play in success stories. I wasn't just going to give up now. One day, I was at home watching TV. All of a sudden, a shocking news popped up. I saw Fisayo on the news. Apparently, the authorities had caught up with him. All his assets were seized. Because of the extent of the crime he had committed, he was sentenced to 15 years in prison. If I hadn't made up my mind not to join him, I would have probably been arrested too. It pays a lot to do the right thing. Stay away from internet fraud. It usually doesn't end well.